Bob! Howdy hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here just by myself playing Pokemon uh, Crystal in Italian, which is a language that I do not speak. So I said in the last episode that I'd go and drop off some items I don't need in the PC, and I did that. Uh, but I just picked up a couple items that I don't know if I'm really going to need. Uh, let's go ahead and use a couple of things. Um, I'm going to use this, but I'm going to come back to it. That's the rare candy. Uh, let's go ahead and use the protein on uh, Furret, I think. Because I think Furret, uh, I think Furret can make some use of that. Um, this increases things in battle. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, what the levels of experience are. Okay, so that's about to level up. That one takes a lot of experience. Uh, I don't think I want to use it on that, though. Uh, you're, you're pretty easy to level up, so I'm not worried about you. Um, you could probably go through battle. See, I don't want to use it on a Pokemon that's already, like, halfway or, like, has some experience towards it, because that kind of wastes the experience, because it just brings you right to the next level. You could use it, but the higher level I use it at, use it, the more effective it's going to be for me. So I think I'll hold off on that. Um, but uh, yeah, Jolteon's about to level up, so let's go ahead and use that. So Scientist probably means Magnemite. So why don't we go ahead and put Nidoking here, just for the sake of being smart. Uh, oh, we already bought, we already battled him. Okay, so never mind. I was being overcautious. Let's switch you back to Jolteon. It's really good that these uh, these guys are just not strong. I think we've actually battled uh, Antigello. Is that like anti... Let me check. Oh, no. Cura Pokemon Kongalati? I'll figure out what that is later. Um, is there anything over here? Oh, there's stairs. Yeah, I've already battled everybody here, so let's just move on. I think there's a dude here. Or no, it's a computer. Can I activate anything here? I think there's something like... Cura Total. Okay, so like a full revive or full restore? Okay. Uh, okay. So eventually we're going to have to fight those Electrode that are down there. We're probably going to try to catch one. Um, oh. Are you going to battle me? Okay, you're not very observant there, dude. Uh, let's see. So, yesterday I recorded some. So, um, the last episode was recorded at the same time as this episode was. But the episode before that one, I, I could really only get one episode out um, out of that day because there was just a lot of stuff going on. So, there might not be too much continuity between the last three episodes, I should say. This episode being included in, in that three um, so I do apologize about that. I did intend to record a little bit more, um, but today I feel a lot better. Uh, I woke up really early, surprisingly. Uh, today, uh, it actually woke my, my girlfriend and I up. Uh, there was this very, very loud, uh, th like, thunder that happened right in the morning. And it I, apparently it woke up a lot of people in, in the Portland area as well. So it was... Um, <laughs> it was... <laughs> it was so loud that I actually, like, I was sleeping on my stomach and I woke up and um, <laughs> my head was kind of turned towards my girlfriend as I was sleeping, apparently. So I heard this sound, woke up, and I was like, oh, expletive, you know, <laughs> uh, when I heard the sound and it woke her up, too. She's like, what was that? Um, and we were kind of, I was kind of worried at first because they're, um, oh, uh, quick attack, okay. Uh, I was worried at first because there's a bunch of protests going on, so I was like, uh-oh, did they, like, do something? Uh, do I need to be worried? And then I kind of, like, thought on it for a while in my, like, half-sleepy state. And I was like, uh, no, I think that's that's actually just thunder. And, uh, like, a few minutes later, I heard some actual, like, thunder, but, like, further away, so I wasn't too concerned. Because I'm there were some protests in Portland, but I'm not, like, Portland, like, in Portland proper, so... I wouldn't have been able to hear those anyway, so. Uh, I think we're going to have, like, a rival battle here, if I'm... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a rival battle. Let's go ahead and put uh, Nidoking off over here. Okay, let's let's not save. We're, 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 we're going to win. We're going to win this rival battle. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Uh, he's asking me about destroying Team Rocket. Is that true? Uh, using Dragon type Pokemon. Oh, he's asking about the about Lance. Uh, or no, he had the battle, so I don't think he's gonna battle me. I don't think. Why is he here then? If he's not gonna battle me, that's very strange. Uh, okay, cool. He, I guess he just wanted to taunt us for a little bit. Um, I was kind of actually hoping for a rival battle, but uh, oh well. Uh, so, oh, we need the password. We need the password. What is this? TM46. What's 46? Let me check. 46. Furto. Si usa per rubare uno strumento. Something about using like a limb. Furto. Okay, let me just look that up really quick. Furto. Because if I could... Goodness, what does that mean? Oh, theft. Okay. So, that. Oh, so it's thief. Okay. So you, like, steal an item. Oh, stormento. So, like, you're stealing an item. So, rubare is, like, robbing. Use this for robbing a thing, an instrument, an item. Okay. That makes sense. Um, I don't really have any dark type Pokemon that I want to teach that to right now. Um, we need to find how to get into the boss's lair. Um, is this something? Goretotale? Okay. Let's see. Where do we go? Have we, we've looked at everything, right? Uh, are we supposed to, was one of these guys supposed to give us like the password or something? Oh, this guy. Yeah, this guy's supposed to give us the password. Okay, there we go. And then are we supposed to use the password on the gate where the uh, electrode are? I think so. Let me switch you over to uh, Jolteon. Okay, let's see. No, okay, so it is actually the boss's room where we need to go. So, okay. Off and away we go. Uh, so I think the I think we're facing Giovanni, if I remember correctly. Um, I think in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver they added like a lieutenant that you fight. Um, or no, this isn't the boss. This is like some it's just some random dude. You don't fight the boss and oh wait. Oh, you need two passwords. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Okay. Do you give me the password? Uh, no. Yeah, there's... The other password, I think, is like Slowpoke Tail. Um, goodness, where is that other password? Who is supposed to give it to me? Where are you, dude? Are you... Are you the one? Uh, no. What about you? Are you the one? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, go to this little book. Okay. Now we have the two passwords, which means we are able to enter there. Okay, I... This is one of those cases where, um, knowing Italian could have saved me a good, what, like, five minutes? So, that's okay. Okay. So it's been hard to actually uh, maintain uh, the same level of frequency for my uh, Duolingo studies. I, I have made sure to actually practice my Spanish every day, but it's been very, very hard. Very, very hard. Um, it is getting better though, definitely. Uh, I think I mentioned in a previous episode that I, I've still been playing Skyrim and that's still the uh, Skyrim in Spanish, and that's that's still the case. Um, I've gotten to the point in Skyrim where, uh, oh, is this Gi is this Giovanni? Hmm, okay. I've gotten to the point in Skyrim where I've just beaten Kynes Grove and also, uh, I beat the Greybeards thing. 
So I have all three parts of the Fusro Da. And I'm making my way through the uh, the College of Winterhold, which is, I think, Ibernalia in Spanish. But, uh, yeah, so it's... Uh, I think I've, I've talked about that, so I won't talk about that again. But playing Skyrim in, in Spanish, I definitely recommend playing in your target language if you are familiar enough with your target language enough to do that. Oh, this Jolteon's going to die. Oh, crap. I should probably take this battle a little more seriously. So let's go ahead and go Nidoking here, because Nidoking uh, has a move with type advantage against this thing. Uh, there we go. Another hit. Boom. So the Rocket General. But it's not the boss. Interesting. Oh, we probably should have switched Pokemon, but it does not matter. Uh, let's just use this. Headbutt. Oh man, I'm thirsty. I should have grabbed something to drink. Usually I have like a like a, a seltzer water or something that I drink during this. Um, but I did not think that far ahead. Um, ooh, this is about to level up. Okay. Okay, so he is not Giovanni. He's like, Giovanni, forgive me. So, okay. And then if I remember correctly, we talk to the bird and the... Oh. And I thought it did that for me. And we talk to the bird and the password's like, uh, yep, that's the, uh, that's, that's the password. Or the bird is like, that's the password. So, uh, now I believe that we go back to challenge the electrodes. And so we have the option to either just make them faint or catch them. I prefer to catch them, usually, because uh, they're not that hard. Uh, and I don't remember if they know self-destruct. Uh, self-destruct is kind of its, like, thing. Let's go ahead and save here, just because I'm not really sure how this is going to go down. Oh, that Jolteon uh, fainted. Right. Um, now we'll just go ahead and continue on. Uh, it's going to waste too much time. Okay. I don't usually have Pokemon faint in my playthroughs. This is very a very different experience. Uh, okay, yeah, so... This is when the double battle sort of thing happens. So I face some random dude, and then Lance comes along and faces the other one. So... I really want a Dragonite in this. I, like, really, really want a Dragonite, and I'm really glad they give you a Dratini uh, that gives a extreme speed. Um... Dragonite is one of those Pokemon that looks so derpy, but I just love it. It's, uh... It's great. Oh, man. Um... But you don't get it until, like, two gems from now, basically. So... Arbok. Okay. Funny story... Or not funny story. Just kind of interesting fact. Uh, the Arbok, like, hood pattern is different in pretty much every game. Uh, so... Uh, oh... You are not a male Pokemon. That is unfortunate. But this Furret uh, should be able to do the job all the same. Oh, good. You flinched. Flinching is a very, very uh, good status effect <laughs> to be able... Or not status. Like a very good battle mechanic uh, to add to this. Ooh. Okay, so we got a Gloom here. Hopefully it's a male. Please be male. Darn it. Okay. Um, should we use... Yeah, let's go for it. Let's use this. Maybe that's not a good idea. But... Okay. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, it's not... Is it not grass type? Oh, it might be... Um. Because I could have sworn that grass types are weak against bug type moves. But maybe is it... It's also poison types. Uh, to poison type, I assume, right? So is poison type uh, like resistant against bug then? And so then that just equals out. Oh, okay, here we go. So if you've got another Pokemon, uh, I, I think I still have my Fury Cutter going. So it'd be wise to keep using the Fury Cutter because it's still uh, still got that continuation going. So might get it in like two hits or one hit. Perfect. This is the power of Furret. Um, and it's really 
fast at leveling here. So some Pokemon actually level at different rates. Um, a lot of Dragon-type Pokemon, for example, or even for Slowpoke, just take longer to level up um, for various reasons. Usually Pokemon that are more powerful tend to level up slower. Uh, and there's, you know, you can go up old if you want to see, like, the different rates at which they level up. But it's, um, there was a lot of thought put into, like, a lot of these different functions um, that just kind of you don't even think about. Um, you know, a lot of people don't even know about, like, EVs or IVs or any of that kind of stuff. And it's, there's a lot going on, uh, you know, under the hood. Uh, and, and, and a lot of this is, is like made from like the first generation of games they just put like a fresh coat of paint on it and kind of fixed some of the bugs you know um, but they even added in new bugs there's even a bug in this where um actually i don't know if it's in the crystal version um it might just be in uh like gold and silver that you can actually duplicate pokemon and I actually did that quite a bit when i was uh when I was a young boy, once I just once I discovered the glitch, it involves using like the PC and you like turn off the power at like a specific point in time, and I could always recreate it like perfectly, so it never messed up my game. Uh, but basically, it makes a copy of like one Pokemon in your party and also in your box, so you can basically have a whole team of like one party. Or if you want to trade something to someone uh, but don't want to give it up, you can do it that way. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and use. Um, I don't actually want to kill this. So let's go ahead and just use our weakest attack. And just kind of, I guess, cricket to death, or I guess, you know, bee stings. Poison sting it to death. Um, oh, that's a move. I forgot that existed. I was pretending like there wasn't a care in the world. Um, okay, so that's one down. Uh, let's go ahead and take down the next one. But why don't we go ahead and do that in the next episode? So this is Frackbox, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.